primeramente, buenas tardes, mi gente. Mi gente is like, my people. You guys are my people. So thanks for joining this channel. Uh, again, if you haven't seen the first video, go check it out, give you a little more description about what we're talking about. Today, got a special treat for you. You're gonna come along and meet some, some people I haven't seen in a long time, and um, hopefully get some cool ideas. Maybe something you might might inspire you to do something different. Let's check it out. So this year marks uh, the 32nd class reunion, which is kind of odd, but if you think about it, 32nd, you know, most people this year are gonna be 50. I know we don't look it. Some of my classmates just may be unrecognizable, but fear not. I've studied the class yearbook and uh, I'm confident I'll be able to pick them out. This is probably not the smartest thing to do. This thing's about four times the size of a telephone. And well, we, we don't like people driving with telephones. Looks like we made it. So we're out here outside of uh, outside of the class reunion. It's our 50th birthday party this year. <clears throat> 30 second reunion. Kind of odd, I know. But I'm here with my bud Jeff. How are you? Best man in my wedding. Best man in his wedding. Absolutely. And uh, we're gonna go in there, we're gonna drop a couple questions about you know, some experiences to help you guys out, you know, give you a couple ideas. You know, what do you, what do you think uh, might be something interesting. Hey, Jeff, what, what, what are you thinking well, about? I'm trying to find out. We're here for high school, but you know, since then, we're all talk, talking, we're all 50 years old now. Um, so what do they do? Uh, what keeps them occupied? What are their passions? Uh, what are some of the things that they, you know, that keeps them going? And we'd like to find that out. It'd be interesting. Dude, let's do it. All right. Let's go. Years ago, in 2010, I went to Oberammergau in Germany. I saw the Passion Play, and it's only held every 10 years in Germany. It was a huge production, and it's something I'll always remember, and I got to go there with my mom and my brother. We're walking about a mile up to the bus stop, and we're in Bermuda, and there's like 45 people standing at the bus stop. We walk down a little bit farther, a bus comes up, we jump on, and they don't let nobody else on. All these people are yelling at us. That's a fear. You had to be there. If you take it step different and do something by volunteering out into the community, that can put you much further ahead and into a different angle, helping others. I'm president of the Kiwanis Club, and I'm also on, on the board for the Business Professional Women's Association. Started um, mission trips back in, I think, the summer of 1993. My first mission trip was to Hungary. I taught English there for two weeks to 14 to 16 year olds. Spent a year in Venezuela. The Ukraine was in Romania, worked with uh, kids there. Was in Liberia, Africa. Went to Uganda, worked out in Morocco for three and a half weeks. Went to Mexico, helped put a roof on an orphanage. And that might be it. And Latin and ballroom dancing is what I'm actually doing right now, and it's been a blast. I'm learning foxtrot, rumba, cha-cha, bachata, salsa, and uh, it's certainly something I'm loving, enjoying it. I wish I would have started this sooner. I went vegan, and it is awesome. Everybody thinks all I eat all day is salads. I go a week without eating a salad. There's so many good choices out there, so many things you can do with beef and corn and nuts and it's an awesome way to eat and be healthy at the same time. I like to uh, go on Wikipedia and learn a topic, something that maybe I've heard an expression, a term, an event, the uh, Spanish-American War, uh, the stock market crash, and then from there, I call it chain reaction, I might read about it and then something else will catch my attention that's in there that's a link and I'll click on that link. I love to do that because I feel I learned so much and I'm able to get a better understanding about the world and life and, and everything that surrounds me that I may have only heard bits and pieces for and now I can get an actual 
actual understanding of a story. Usually it's completely different than the idea I'd always had in my head about it. I guess the most interesting thing that I've done in the last few years is, you know, when you think your life is over, I decided to start something new, and I went to college, which I didn't do after high school. I graduated when I was 47. I graduated summa cum laude at the top of my class, something I should have done probably when I was younger, so I was pretty proud of myself. I've been to every one of my kids' games since they're little. My son does three sports. He does uh, football, he wrestles, and he plays baseball. And my daughter, um, she played soccer and basketball and track, and I've recorded every single game they've been to. Well, that's it. Kind of wraps things up. If you've gotten some pretty good ideas, good, awesome. If there's an idea that you'd like to share with the community down below, that would be even better. Love to see a whole bunch of ideas because you know, it's gonna give me some new material. It means some, some new ideas. I feel like I've already lived three lifetimes in one. I mean, I got, I got so many ideas are just exploding and I'm only halfway there. So leave some, leave some comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let's keep it going. Catch you on the next one. Actually, the next one, um, I have a trip coming up this week, Puerto Rico. I'm going to get some fantastic footage. So come on back, check some of that out. See you soon.